Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Senator Gerard Rennick. Senator Rennick is one of the ones that senators have voted for the Freedom Bill, which is basically from Pauline Hanson to preserve the right to choose. And Senator, I want to thank you for doing that, especially being a Liberal Senator as well. Senator, you're not up for re-election till the following election in, a, in three years from now, so it's great to have you. But what did you, how did you feel about seeing the tens of thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands of people here, and what do you think they're here for? Oh, well, look, it's great to see so many people here, and can I thank all the people that have travelled from across the country today to be here, to stand up for their fellow countrymen and their right to actually have a job. Obviously, we want to focus today on getting the government to lift the mandates, both at the state level and help get the federal government to pressure the state governments into lifting those mandates. That needs to happen. Um, so, look, you know, let's keep fighting, and, and I really think today we'll send a very strong message to Canberra and the state premiers that we need to lift the mandates. Absolutely. So, the weird thing about Canberra, and don't worry about the mics, they'll pick up in your voice, yeah. is we've got a big bubble that's happened here where you're quite often isolated and they try to corner you. Yeah. But for the first time, I think, in Canberra's history, you've really got the backing. How does it feel? Do you feel emboldened that all the people are here? Well, look, I, I've always, uh, I don't know if emboldened's the word I've used. I mean, I, I would use, as I've got a responsibility, I've been elected by the people. I and mean, when I first found out how severe these injuries last year were, I knew that you know we, we couldn't move forward as a country while people were being injured and obviously subsequently you know the state governments have also imposed mandates um, which are just a complete uh, breach of civil liberties. I mean it's bad enough to force people to take a vaccine at the best of times but to take one that I think has caused so many injuries um, and you know, is, is only you know, it's new technology and hasn't really what I'd consider be pro properly tested uh, isn't right. You were absolutely instrumental in getting the story and popularising it about the 19-year-old, I do believe, yep. equestrian, yep. Sienna Knowles. Yep. And it was really sad to see a young, fit woman attacked by this thing in a situation where th this is meant to improve our health and give us a greater opportunity to survive uh, supposedly a pandemic and a virus. Yeah. Um, where do you see, I know you're not, you're not quite a commentator and you're in the coalition, but where do you see the election going and do you think there'll be a backlash if the government doesn't listen to the people that have come out to Canberra from across the continent? Yeah, look, I think, I think you know, there will be a backlash if we don't lift those mandates and even if we did, I think there'll still be a, a backlash to a degree, but, you know, look, um, you know, it's very important that we do listen to the people and you know, I'm only a relatively new senator, I've been here down here for two years and it's very easy to live when you're down here in the bubble uh, and you've got a safe, secure, bureaucratic job, uh, you know, to ignore the concerns of, of the people out there in the rural Australia uh, and we need to be careful and, and I don't want to see this happen whereby we've got a, a sort of elite uh, set of people who are ignoring the plight of the battlers. And this thing, you know, it's not just about the health aspects now, it's affecting people's jobs, um, it's affecting, you know, people's ability to travel freely around the state, uh, it's the discrimination, you know, you can't see your loved ones in hospitals, you can't go and get a coffee, you can't eat at a restaurant, I mean, so it's not just mandates anymore, it's become about the discrimination, it's come about the border closures, it's come about people that can't go overseas to travel if they're unvaccinated. So this is disseminating right across the, the population, uh, and if we don't listen, um, you know, we're going to create a two-tiered uh, society here and that's not good for the country. Well, Senator Rennick, I want to thank you on behalf of the audience for actually allowing us to have that opportunity for freedom and the opportunity to have our voice heard at the next election and uh, I want to thank you for your time. Yeah, Cheers. thanks very much, Joel, and thanks to everyone who turned out here today and I'll keep fighting to get your freedoms back. Thank awesome. you. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Joel.